So now we have um, our same program that we started in here doing the grading and we check the min grade and the valid grades are between zero and 100. And we have an if statement in here, but maybe we don't like that if statement. Maybe it looks too complicated. Maybe we have to check it somewhere else later on. So let's go and create what's called a Boolean variable. If you remember, a Boolean variable is something that equates to either true or false. There's no other variables. So it's named after, I believe, Dr. Boolean, and it's just plain bool. Don't type in Boolean. And we'll call it valid grade. And we'll just initialize it to true because we are happy people. So now we have the program that has the Boolean value. Instead of the if statement, we're going to do this. We're going to assign the value of valid grade to this if condition. So basically, I'm going to leave this here. But then I'm going to modify something in here to do it. So the first thing I'm going to do here, notice I have the brackets. And again, I'm going to say valid grade equals true. Else valid grade equals false. So now we'll go in here and we'll print out valid grade. And we'll do it two different ways. So basically, we didn't really make any changes other than we assigned this here. And I'm doing this for a reason, so which you will see, hopefully. So let's go and run the program. And let's put in 101. Okay, not a good grade. You have gotten a great notice that it put in a zero there. So now let's run it again with just plain 100. It says good grade, you've got it in here. And it put in a one as it. So in this particular case, zero is false and one is true. However, why do we really need to do this? Let's change our Boolean to this. So let's go and put valid grade equals I'm just going to copy this and it looks like we have some extra parentheses and what I normally do is I'll put a space here and a space there. So to me, it looks a little bit easier to read than this. So I'm going to delete this and this and this and this. In my opinion, this here is easier to read than this. So that's why I'm asking you to make sure that you are putting in your parentheses here just to make sure that it's readable. So now we have a valid, a valid grade assigned. So we don't even need this if statement anymore because we have a way to check it in here. So let's just do this and let's delete all of this stuff here. And now the problem is, if we do an invalid grade, we're going to have a problem. So let's put our if statement here, and we'll just do if. Now, here's, remember we talked about not a little bit before. So we could do this. If valid grade equals false,
and then we'll put uh, let's, let's, let's um, see out invalid grade. And here's where you're going to get a nested if, but you'll you'll get that in a second. So I will put a little alert here. So what's going to wind up happening is here, if it's a valid grade, it's going to say invalid grade, but it's still going to check this. Because here we're just doing it, and we're checking to see if the grade is valid or not. So let's go and put it in here. We'll put in 105. Okay, it says invalid grade. So you can see it works. So now let's go and do an else, which we don't need, but we will need it for something else. Else, see out, valid grade. And I have an extra space, we'll get rid of it. So now it should, if we do a valid grade, it should print out valid grade. And I spell valid wrong, so I do not get a good grade for spelling. So let's type in 100. So now it says valid grade, so we're good here. So now, what is the purpose of doing all this stuff? So now we have the valid grade equals false is really not good programming. So what they want you to do, the best way to do it, and you saw that in the PowerPoint, is to do this. This is basically the same thing. Oops. This is basically the same thing as if I'm not in here. So we have if not valid grade. And you could also, and I wouldn't recommend putting it outside of the if. Let's put it in here. So let's run this here. Now remember, I always say to you, make sure that you do one thing and then check it. So maybe we have a syntax error. Maybe you don't. Maybe the, the exclamation point goes somewhere else. Maybe it doesn't. So let's find out. And we're looking good here. So let's start off with 101. Okay, invalid grade. So that part worked. And now let's do 100. And that looks good. All right, so now we're still checking grades regardless regardless of if it's or not. So we want to do if not valid grade, we want to use this over here and we'll say please re-input or whatever we want it to say. And we'll put an end line here so it's on a separate line. Now remember you can use the new line character but the preferred method is to do NL. So try to, if you do want to have a whole bunch of things using NL, just make sure at um, when you get to the last one, make sure that you're using an NL so that you're done. So now what we want to do, if it's not a valid grade, we want to tell the user, but if it is a valid grade, then we want to check this. So we'll do if valid grade here. So we're going to have a dilemma now when we if we delete this so let's put this here and let's just do else and so we know where it is so what we need to do is we want this if to be inside of here so let's take this block of code here i'm going to click here and i'm going to shift click here so I'm copying everything. Then I'm going to cut it and paste it. And I want to put it inside of this. So now we have our nested if. And now we have a red ugly explanation point. Why do we have that? Well, I do not know why. So let's, let's go back and match up our ifs and else's and things like that. So it's looking good here. Now, sometimes you get this, 
and some things don't. So wait a minute, I don't understand. All the ifs and buts. So maybe we forgot a semicolon. So let's compile it and see what it tells us what we did. But anytime you get a red mark, you're going to get something. There's build errors. Um, do we want to run it? No, we don't. Let's see what we're... Ah, oh, look at this. We're missing a semicolon. Now, we didn't get that nasty thing here until I held my mouse over it. Then it would tell me. So let's go and put a semicolon here. And we're good. So I'm going to put here... And you could just put, you know, if if you want. That's most of the time what I do. But because I have something nested, it makes it a little bit. So now let's make it a little bit more readable. Let's just put a blank line here and a blank line here. So now we know that this block of code here is connected in it. So let's see what this says. So we're saying here, if this is not a valid grade, Basically, this is the same thing as saying if valid grade is false or if it's not a valid grade. So now we're giving the user an opportunity to re-input. If it is a valid grade, then we're going to check to see what the valid grade. So let's go and run this in here. But now if we have a valid grade, it prints it. But if we have an invalid grade, it's still going to print it. So let's go and put in... an invalid grade and see what happens. So invalid grade, please re-input. Of course, you have gotten a grade up. But see, now it's never been assigned a letter, but it's still printed it. So how do we fix this? Very simple. We have, this is inside the else. This is a nested if. So now we're going to put this here. And we're just going to put it inside of the if. Because now we know it's a valid grade. So we're putting it inside the else. I know I said if, but I really meant else. And we're going to put it here. We're going to comment that's else. And what we'll do here, let's run it again. And this time, let's put an invalid grade. And then we'll go and put in a valid grade. Okay, now it didn't do that. Well, that's good because you don't want something processed with it. So let's go and run it with a good grade. And we'll do 100 and valid grade. So now one more thing I want to show you is I don't like putting zeros and one. So Maybe there's a way that C++ lets me to print true and false. Well, let's see what happens if there's a way in here. So you have gotten a grade, C out valid grade. Um, so let's put a we'll put an end out here so that this prints here. I don't have it shoved on anything. So let's see, I don't know, is there a way to do it? I wonder if there is. So let's see what happens. Let's type in bool, and let me put a space here so it's separated. Let's type in bool. Oh, look at this. What's this thing called bool alpha? What bool alpha does, it allows you to print either true or false instead of ones and zero. So let's see if it works, indeed. So we're going to start off with our good luck and let's check it out and see if we get true this time so enter a grade between zero we're going to do um, 100 and see what it so valid grade it prints true and you have gotten a grade of zero so in the next video of this we're going to start using some constants to do the letter grade. So we already have a constant for the actual grades themselves, but then we're going to start using constants for the letter grades itself. So that is it for this video, and hopefully this has been helpful.